What is up everybody and welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we are looking at how to simplify cube roots. Let's go. Okay, so when simplifying a cube root, what we have to remember is that we are trying to find factors that are perfect cubes. And we're going to use these factors to help us simplify. So if we look at the first question, we have the cube root of 40. And at the moment, 40 is not a perfect cube. So therefore, what we're going to do is we're going to look at our perfect cubes. And thankfully, I have written the first 10 out down here on the right-hand side. So we have 1, 8, 27, 64, all the way down to 1,000. They are the first 10 cube numbers, or perfect cubes. And we're going to see if any of these is a factor of 40. And I can see one straight away. We have the number 8. Because 8 times 5 is 40. And therefore, 8 is a factor of 40. Now we can rewrite our expression here to say that it is equal to the cube root of 8 multiplied by 6. And thanks to the multiplication or product property of cube roots, we can actually say that it is equal to the cube root of 8 multiplied by the cube root of 6. And now we can begin to simplify because we know what the cube root of 8 is, it's 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So therefore, I can rewrite that little part as just 2, and then I can say that that's multiplied by the cube root of 6. And that is now our simplified form, 2 multiplied by the cube root of 6. Now let's look at number 2. We have the cube root of 432. Can we see any factors of 432 in our list down the right hand side? Yeah, I can see 216, because 216 times 2 is 432. Therefore, 216 is a factor of 432. So same principle, I can say that this cube root of 432 is equivalent to the cube root of 216 times 2. And again, thanks to that multiplication and product property law, I can say that it's equivalent to the cube root of 216 multiplied by the cube root of 2. And we can now begin to simplify because the cube root of 216 is 6. 6 times 6 is 36 times 6 is 216. So therefore the cube root of 216 is 6. And we can't simplify the 2 any further, so we'd have to say multiplied by the cube root of 2. And that is now our simplified form. So what do we need to remember? First we're going to find the factors, then we're going to look for any factor pairs which are a perfect cube, that part's really important, and then we're going to see if we can simplify it any further. And there we go. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. If it has, think about subscribing or check me out on my website. But for now, peace out.